Okay. Game one, obviously, there between King of Noobs and Rexars uh, were... It was pretty easy, pretty easy for them. Uh, they were just well camping through the rest of that, so we'll see what happens this time. And I suspect that, so far, the way, the way things are going, it's not going to be much different. Well, actually, it might be a little different. We'll see. Uh, okay. So, we've got Ophelia, Moon Queen, Tempest, and Gemini banned as Green Rexar is actually trying to help the Legion side by banning the Moon Queen and the Gemini, saying, don't pick those heroes together, you giant morons. Regardless, uh, first pick for the Legion side is Parasite, followed by Dampier, so lots of burst magic damage coming out there. Not bad at all, I think Solo Dampier in the bottom plus Parasite's burst is going to become a pretty big issue for whoever plays bottom. Hellborn have random to Aluda for their first selection, and as you can see, 80 seconds remaining on the timer for extra time, so that was an intentional random with the Illumina. And perhaps they will all subsequently pick around that, but it looks like they're going for the well dive heroes here because both Devour and Gauntlet are going to come out from the Hellborn. So, and Legion side picking up Corrupted Disciple, so I hope that's a suicide CD. I don't really know what they're going for here on the Legion side. Their last lineup was totally ridiculously awful, and so far this this Legion side is also looking like it will be the case um, in this game, but we'll see. I'm, I'm just a little skeptical about what, what's going to happen. I actually hope for a good game here, because, uh, you know, Rexars are a team we've seen before. Maybe they'd be, you know, favored here to win, but not by this much, and... Of course, last game was just an absolute stomp, so maybe the Legion side's like, all right, let's, I'm not even going to try anymore, because apparently that's that's the new meme, obviously, is, is being a try-hard, which is apparently a bad thing. Tr trying to do something well and, and then failing is such a problem that we can't possibly be, uh, you know, caught trying and failing, so clearly the only way to get around that is just to never try anything, because then if you fail, it's, well, I wasn't trying. So, I don't know, I, I, I hate that. I, try hard never made any sense to me as, as an insult, so... Clearly the Legion side abiding by that rule, and they're not going to be tryhards, and they're just going to have a laugh here. Bands are Prisoner, Warbeast, and uh, Prisoner 945 of Grinix so far on the Legion side, so banning out the final hook hero, not, getting, not letting them get the Trifecta, as well as the suicide potential of Grinix, and then Surse as their last ban. Hellborn take out Warbeast, Pestilence, and Keeper of the Forest. So, three strong heroes being eliminated by the Hellborn side. Legion side also really eliminating three strong heroes. Just uh, a couple that we don't see very often in that Prisoner and Cersei. Mostly because Cersei's banned, for that matter. But, uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure exactly how, how good she is. I think she's annoying as hell if she's used right. But, sometimes she's not. I, I think these lower tier teams just haven't really figured out how to play her yet. The higher tier teams, I think, have the skill cap to do it right. She is so damn squishy. That she can be easily so killed if she gets jumped, but um, obviously that that becomes more of an issue as you move down the skill ladder. At the higher levels, they're like they're so good with their position, they're so good with knowing where to be when that I think they can really make that hero work. But I'm not sure if uh, it, it's really there here at the lower tiers. It's not exactly an easy hero to play either. That immobilize is not an easy skill to hit, and uh, being able to get your ultimate off is not necessarily the, the easiest thing in the world to do. But Last few selections are coming in through here as Silhouette and Legionnaire round off the Legion side, so zero supports, and it's pretty clear that things are happening. They've got three strong carries in Dampier, Silhouette, and Corrupted Disciple, as well as a Jungler and Parasite, and I guess another Jungler and Legionnaire. So is their theory here double jungle and three solo lanes? Let's get um, on. I sort of hope not, because that's probably not going to work very well, but we'll see what they choose to do. Last two picks for the Hellborn side are Pharaoh and Nymphora. And notably, I think the only swap was um, Devo and Gauntlet. As we'll see, I'm going to go bring this up real fast, but... No. Hellborn swapped zero heroes. So, I'm not sure if what how seriously they're taking this match, but I don't think either side is like, oh, this is really important. I mean, this is just the ultimate series. It's not like it's a big deal. It's not a major tournament. It's not Hontor, so perhaps just playing around, leading aside, realizing after the last game that 
they're probably not going to win this series, and so they're just they're just screwing with it. Looks like Hellborn might be going for level one Congor here, and that's definitely what's going to happen. Obviously, Pharaoh and Gauntlet really two strand Nymphora for that matter. A bunch of strong heroes for doing level one Congor here, dropping pods, putting the Hellfire down, the, uh, the Gauntlet in feeble. Is that what it's called, right? So, Conor falling relatively quickly here for the Hellborn side, and should be pretty easy to kill, as long as Gauntlet doesn't get bashed to oblivion, and he won't, thanks to the Hellfire going out. And before actually choosing to go to Zelo with the pod, a little surprising. And Gauntlet will get pulled to health pod here, and we'll, we'll pause it up. <laughs> as Dampier says, we know. Uh, I don't know if that was the something said during the pause that we obviously skipped, but... Apparently they know something. So he is back. No. So. Not sure what's going on here, but level 1 Kong are going to be finished off by the elite Hellborn side at this point, and Dev will grab the token. Looks like we're seeing a top lane here of Silhouette and Legionnaire. Parasite also in the Hellborn Woods. In middle we have Dampier, and Corrupt Disciple is bought. So we can turn to a mid uh, Dev Nymph lane, which is actually a really strong lane. Hook going out there will not hit anything, completely blind of course. And Nymphora having level 2 will be able to continuously mana this Dev. That got cancelled really quickly, I'm not sure how. Might have been an Archer arrow in the air. On the other side here, Legionnaire, and yeah, you're dead buddy. As he took too much damage there, and that's easy bloodlust. Parasite not really being able to do anything to help him there. So, Dev just slowly making his way up top and looking for a jump onto the silhouette. He puts the tree grapple out, but now it's slowly going to realize oh, oh shit, this is Dev too. And I have no tree grapple, which makes this going to be very difficult to get away. Puts the Infernal Instability out, but they're blocking each other. Thanks to Hell Pot. Gonna try to run, hook back onto this sill. Leech there as well, but this is easily going to be dead silhouette. And we'll see how much damage Parasite takes. Obviously Token's on Devour, so he doesn't care too much about dying to the Rot. Parasite has Infest in a second, but that's not going to help him too much. Actually, he just puts a Leech out and tries to die to neutrals. Trying to get this kill on Dev, but it's not going to happen. He has a token anyway, so there goes Parasite. And we've got a 3 for nothing in favor of Hellborn at this point. As their Devour roam strategy or whatever is very effective. And we've got a solo Nymph against uh, Dampir. So we'll see how this goes. Lands a zeal stun there, very nice. Bot lane, we got a dual Pharaoh versus Pharaoh and Aluna versus Corrupted Disciple. Obviously you see he can have a bit of a difficult time down here. Being able to do much of anything against this dual lane. See so obviously a hero that relies very heavily on his mobility, so Pharaoh. Bit of an issue, although honestly if uh, he puts corrupt, corrupted conduit down, yeah, then Pharaoh has to run away, so the mummy wall is perhaps not quite as valuable as one would initially think. And puts them down there for, I don't think, any reason. <laughs> Four and Parasite sort of going out of here. This Parasite can't really do anything. He's level 2. Zeal's not going to be dodged. And Nymph. It's actually okay. She has a bottle. Which she bought her. That's her own bottle. So this is clearly carried Nymph on the bottom. And got a roaming dev, apparently. I mean, an easy kill there, honestly. <laughs> Onto that corrupt disciple. So things are happening, and I'm not really sure what they are. Engineer's over here, I guess. He's lane cutting. Yeah, that seems to be what's happening at this point, but he's level 2. Gauntlet's level 5. Activates the Infernal Instability there, and then the hook misses as well, so he's not going to be able to hit either of those spells, using all of his mana and getting nothing for it. But the uh, Legionnaire spins getting him plenty of creep kills here. Just not actually doing very much. There's this last time with that couple more autos and this is gonna be dead Lego. I'm just getting stuck. Massacre. So Solo Midnum Fora, Roaming Devourer, 
aggressive dual lane Pharaoh Aluna, and solo top to Gauntlet. This is pretty standard. Parasite's hanging out middle, gonna get job, hook goes out, misses. I'm not sure if he even saw Devourer there, he saw the hook must have at least. On bottom, CD. Gonna get caught here by the mummy walls. And the conduit's up, but apparently it doesn't matter. There's a the power through, we're gonna finish it off, so. Yep, conduit doesn't matter if you just do a bunch of magic damage. And I think Pharaoh's, yeah, hitting for negative 23 to negative 21 damage. But he doesn't care. Dev here looking for a drop onto this uh, damp here. Misses the zeal stun there, gonna stop the initiation, but. And 4 is level 6, and damp here is level 4. We'll see if there's a hook back onto damp. He's taking a bunch of damage here, but they're still gonna get the kill with a rot, and. will just barely live with 6 health. And that's where we're at. Now, he has, so he has a token anyway, but the, the Han God's clearly in favor of the Hellboy side. Is, I don't know, I mean, that could have easily been a kill. And it wasn't for no reason. CD you now going to roam himself middle. Here's it up here in the Hellborn Woods, as he's been extremely active in terms of his laying decisions. I'm just getting stuck. Now, look, down, I should just stay on the CD the entire game, because he just keeps getting I'm jumped. Just getting stuck. Down, son. Over here, Devour going at it with Lego a little bit, who is now level 3. Gonna take and for an instability there from Gauntlet, and he's just gonna die. There's the hook, and the last auto attack. And Dev's finally like, just kill me. And there's a token, now gonna help kill Silhouette, which. Yup, oh, yup, oh, there it is. Hook, Nymphora port coming in here as well. We'll have the Zeal Stun available. There it is, gonna stop his Parasite in his tracks. Rot, not even necessary. Legion are pausing the game for some reason. Uh, obviously, we're just going to skip straight through it. So, I don't know if there's AFKs here, or, or what's the deal with that, but... Uh, Hellborn seem to have unpaused the game in a bit of a bad manner and fashion. And Legion are voting to pause once again. Dev off to the side with a hook. Nope. Zeal stun there as the obviously skip through pause. So no, no FKs apparently. But Dev's looking for something. Gets the electric tie completely west of the hook. He's been absolutely awful with the with the hooks. And the Rexar has a little bit of bad manners. Hellborn pause coming out here. Dev actually getting in some trouble there. Will hit the hook onto Damp here. Gonna be a lot of trouble. And or power throw misses. Now Damp gonna tie to a zeal sign in the background and <laughs> Corrupted Disciple gonna take the devour there. He's gonna kill himself and get the kill there on Nymphora. So a double tap for Nymph. Madness herself now looking for a turn onto Parasite. Probably not gonna find it. Unless they're gonna nope, they're gonna dive here. Worst sight goes out within tower range, the creature killing it. And Nymph's finally like, no, I don't want this, I decided. Devourer buys back. Wrath of the Pharaoh here on Parasite, plus the Hellflower. He's in some trouble. And he just DCs. And it looks like Legion are just done with this. So two DCs in the lead to side, there doesn't look like any pauses going out. Help more take down the top tower. And they're asking him GG. It is so clear. Yeah. You guys are not following but onto rules, I don't know. I don't know what rules they're violating here, and this isn't Hauntor, so. Gauntlet Buster on a damp, he's gonna take the Infernal Ability, where's the hook? There it is, and there's death. The Hellborn had destroyed a Legion Tower. Mid-tower dropping there. 
Two DCs is usually cause for your teammates have abandoned you and you're free to leave without taking a leave. Maybe it's three. I think it's... I don't know. Dev looking for a blind hook up the hill. And Legionnaire didn't still just so sitting there, so if he threw the hook, he'd hit it pretty easily. Pushing in middle. So hopefully Hellborn just looked to end this in about a second. Torment is still going out there. Will spot damp. Wrath of the Pharaoh is available, but not going to use it. Hook coming out there, not going to hit anything as Silhouette actually moved. <laughs> damp over here in some trouble. Can take the Mummy Walls and the Hellfire. It's hooked out of him, in fact, but not going to help too much as the power bill finishes him off. He's your level 3, so he's doing real well. And he's just on an adventure. Wrath of the Fairway will catch him. Min's inside the money walls, and now you're in some trouble there, buddy. Hook in, so Gauntlet can actually hit stuff, and there goes the death. Mid tower pretty easily killed there by Hellborn. And it looks like they're just gonna push this in and take Rax and take the win. Or perhaps they're gonna do something else. They've got all the hookers and they might just be well diving here. Look in there, so what's in some trouble tormented soul. The gauntlet blast deal still gonna help Jordan just got a couple of kills. So I think with the two DCs are on the Legion side, there isn't too much point in messing with this. This is pretty clearly a Hellborn victory. And I feel kind of silly sitting around here for as long as this is going to take for them to do this. So let's let's just jump through. And everything's dying, and let's just check exactly how long this is going to go. Sorry, that's really annoying. Okay, this is apparently going to go on for another... 40 minutes. And I assume none of this is going to involve anything that is close to a Legion win, so let's just skip ahead. Hey look, it's 104 to 1. And two heroes of DC on the hell on the Legion side. Okay, and they're just killing them. Has it ever occurred to you that I am just you and I are gonna be real good friends? I think everybody on the Hellborn side is in a ledge, uh, on a immortal streak at this point. 32 minutes into this game, it's 203 hero kills to one. Has it ever occurred to you that ever occurred and they just die in half a second. As you can see, the Hellborn items are Spell Shards, Grimoire Codex, Spell Shards, Grimoire Codex, Void Talisman, Wingbow, Spell Shards, Codex, Grimoire, Spell Shards, Codex, no Grimoire, Light Brand, working on it, Refresh for Pharaoh, Nymph has a Refresh for his own completed, and the Grimoire and Spell Shards and Codex. So... Evidently, the Hellborn are just gonna eventually win this game, I think. And they're just killing him. Sorry, sorry about the really high-pitched crap, because I'm just fast-forwarding through to the end of this game. But, this is really stupid for me to sit through. There's no reason that anybody would want to watch. Every, uh, just a massive well dive for 40 full minutes. And Devo, in fact, not even wanting to do this anymore, and he DCs. Just immediately when they show up, they die. So, that's going to be the shrine, and this was a stupid game. And I hope that you are appreciative of the fact that I didn't sit there and watch 40 minutes of well diving. And if you'd like to watch that, then I'm sure you could find this match replay. If you'd like the, the ID, I should put it down. The ID is 12589 So if you feel that I did not do this match justice, 
and I should have casted 40 minutes of well diving for a result of 291 hero kills to one, then instead of doing that myself, you're feel free to go watch it and watch it in slow motion. Probably at, at you know what one fourth or one eighth speed or whatever, you could sit there for hours and just watch well diving. So. Anyway, that's going to do it for this game and this series, as it goes pretty easily to Rexar in two games. Neither is really a big contest, and doesn't seem like uh, Knights of, or Kings of, King of Noobs or whatever the Legion side is called took anger to these games particularly seriously. So that's a little disappointing, but regardless, Rexar's win.